because the, um, we can't go in with these ones, we have to hang the food over on a fishing line and they jump out of the water using their back legs and they spring out of the water. Yeah. Really? Every seven to ten days. Yeah, right. but only in the summertime. They don't get fed at all in the winter. Really? How long have you been doing this then, Sophie? Uh, I've been working here for, it'll be ten years in December. Really? Yeah. I started just when another lady went off to have her children, I went and took over from her. Wow. A, a really kind of special place to work? Oh yeah, I love it. I wouldn't want to do anything <laughs> else. I'm not the kind of girl to sit on an off in an office working in there. It drives me nuts. Diploma in animal care. And then I went done another two years of national diploma. And then after I left there, I went to New Zealand for ten weeks and wow. then come back and I was had a phone call off Mr Sims off, offering me a job and I just said yes. But I used to do my work experience while I was at college here and I did my school work experience here as well. Okay. So you, you bought an eggs here, uh, do I suspect that they're not for your lunch are they? No, not for my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, wouldn't boil them as long as I boiled these <laughs> if they were. What are they for? Um, so the otters have raw chicken eggs. Oh right. But we boil these for like the monkeys, the warty pigs, um, and also for chipping the apple for the birds, we give them a little bit of egg cut up in the food that we give them to them in the wow. morning. Because actually when I sort of looked around your kitchen here, it looked like you got a fairly decent range of salad and fruit and, you know, it's... Yes, it's, it's good. It's, it... None of us for you though, it's all for the, it's all for the animals, yeah? Yeah, yeah, none of that's wow. for us. It's very difficult because I do love my fruit, but it is yeah. all just for the... Um, yeah, animals have all that. So uh, we've just been seeing you, you feeding the crocodiles. That is a abs you know, sort of pun intended. That is a raw experience, isn't it? I mean, that is. I love doing it, especially when in the summer well, because we don't do it in the winter. But in the summer, it's a nice job to do. Yeah. So what's the deal there? I mean, you don't feed them in the in the winter. No, they we feed them from April to October. Right. And uh, but they normally let us know when they've had enough. Really. And they kind of like semi hibernate. So. The American alligator, he can go down and they can be underwater for about eight hours and not have to worry about really? it. Really? What, and not breathe? Yeah. And no, then they, they come up and take some milk. It's a kind of like, yeah, like they semi-hibernate. A lot of visitors say when they come round in the winter, oh my God, is he dead? I was like, no, he's just well, never. under the water. Wow. These ones are for the monkeys for this evening. So, uh, so Salibi macaques, uh, stump-tailed macaques, uh, white-handed gibbons, and the two groups of seaman gibbons that we've got. So, what do they like? Different kind of. Um, they just because we know we've got three monkeys in each, so they've got a uh, three bananas, and they've all got three things each, and they're just in a black container, so we know who's it for. Okay. And then you just have, and they do, they basically. Eat You're not telling basic. me the monkeys look, look at three bananas and share them out. They do sometimes, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, never. Um, do they know you so personally, the animals? I think they go with the t-shirts and our smells. Oh, right, um, okay. We had our summer do on Saturday and they didn't recognise us. So we were allowed to walk around in the evening and we weren't wearing our work clothes. I and see, they didn't really? Us. But saying that, the tiger did. Really? Yeah, I've been here with um, my boyfriend's sister and had my wall was wearing my sunglasses and she paid no attention to me. The minute I took my sunglasses off, she knew who I was. That ain't wow. She started to growl at me. <laughs> this one is a female. Her name is Dua and she is ten years old. And she's never had any cubs, so we've got a male in and his name is Kubu and he was three on Sunday. He could be very grumpy, but he's like a big dog. <laughs> he's on 
sometimes plays with his food. 